police department. Oh, brother, we're gonna confront him. Are you ready? I know I'm not. <laughs> so, what's the plan? We get in there, we get the truth, and then we come out as winners. <laughs> as if we were that easy. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. That works too. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Well, Brown. hello, new character that I had never seen before. Good morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working Glad reception? Glad to see Rose new called face. in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler. You are correct. Denise. Denise. Tyler. Nice meeting you, Officer Wilson. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Yeah, so it's definitely not me. Doesn't seem like the characters are more robotic in this chapter. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Looks like we didn't choose the best day to talk to him. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Yeah, you keep hey. hoping that. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's alright, you know. Happy to see Allison. Can't wait to leave. <laughs> it's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. Oh, really? I know As she's you happy know. to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote it's for the Juno It's way Day too last robotic. Year. <laughs> it was spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thank you. And we'll let you think that. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man. They were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give what? lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? That's awesome. What was the JCE? JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't mean to preach, Usually I don't have to speak groups, during the conversations because they seem the natural, but they need people man, who really understand them. Not people this one. know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. This Anyways, one doesn't seem natural at all. Sorry for the rant. Oh, nah, bitch. you're fine. Hello, middle-aged adult. Oh, no. Oh, hello, Mr. Reaver. few days? That's optimistic. Oh. It feels new like characters. every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out That's of the That's a new air. cop. Huh. Oh, and uh, he's probably busy. He's taking someone's... He's, inter he's interrogating someone. I'm just gonna grab a little snacker over here. Oh, never mind. Well, I'll just see the pictures. These look like real pictures. Interesting. What's on the schedule? Nope, nothing. That's a oh, cool haircut, like Mr. Mr. <laughs> T. No worries. You're not a bother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just Dr. woke up Torres. extra energetic you today. With you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. She's Latina. Different last name? Yes, her father's. Well, My sorry to interrupt. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Uh-oh. Guys, <laughs> I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. How about the truth? I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. 
Well, it is indeed a bad time to come and ask for <laughs> something. So what now? I mean, it is understandable. He's in his, he's in his job. He's working right now. Where were we? But I guess we can get the truth ourselves. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Dr. Torres. You said you're Oh, so that's that's what we heard at the maybe this guy knows something about that. Give me her name and date of birth. Oh, it's a touch screen. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages eleven and twenty one. <laughs> yeah, huh? Well, uh, welcome home. Does she live with you most In a while, huh? Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Neon lights and smelly food. Gotta get going. <laughs> We're not gonna be an evil uh, here. We just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? How's your day? Access to Mary Ann's file? No, we cannot say that. We cannot say that. Uh, how's your day? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. So, Tyler, chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg's, he just got here. He yeah, totally know, looks like a Greg. We could use more people like him. Uh, not my thing. Thanks. But I'm not sure that's my thing. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh. And why not? We're short-handed right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. All right. <laughs> Incident report Wait, so how old are we? I thought we were like at least 20 something, which means that we're probably over, not over, over age. I don't think you, you say that. We were adults. If we're 20, 20 something, we were adults. Oh, yeah. I thought I could talk to you for a second, but I can't do that. Um, so apparently we have to get into the archive room. Um, do I have to do it in a sneaky way so these guys don't notice? Or are they just used to us just roaming around the place that they won't even... Uh, that they won't protest if we go upstairs. No, nope, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. Darn it. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Yeah, exactly. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. I was gonna say that, but I thought we were gonna activate the alarm somehow. But the alarm is usually not here. Oh, here's the map. So this is the first floor, the ground floor, the main entrance. So you are here. Where is the fire exit? Emergency exit. Right there. The main entrance. Oh, uh, it's a, the, the mouse is literally there. <laughs> it opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? I mean, I'm a bad actor. Not really. Not really. No. Right. Let's go. So she's the one who's going to get into the room while I make a distraction or the other way around? I can't tell. When I'm playing a game, I can't really concentrate. You know, I'm not that good at multitasking, I guess. What's up? So am I supposed to make a scene? Yeah. And she is the one who's going to get into the room. So how do I do that? Let's talk to Mr. T over here. Now, where was I in this report? I don't think we can uh, talk to him. Right. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. All right. Can we talk to Mr. Mr. Chief Brown over here? 
I don't think so. Maybe we need to find like a fire alarm. Something. That's just a drawing. Books? Can we drop the books? That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Mm -hmm. Kinda messy, but I mean sure. Um uh, never mind, there must be something else, because I mean he's just gonna say, well, pick it up. It's not like he's gonna stand up and pick it up himself. There's gotta be another thing that we can do over here. The flower, no. If we break the mirror, that's gonna get us in trouble. And we are exactly in the right place to get punished if we do something naughty. Huh. Oh, this is just a lie, right? Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Let, let me let me explore other options. I wanna check the whole room. <laughs> Hopefully there's not consequences if I do any of this wrong because I don't want any consequences. I'm playing a video game. It's not real life. Yeah, it seems like that's the best thing we can do right now. Turn off the lights. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Please don't mess this up. Don't mess it up. Oh, oops. Tyler. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. No one saw anything. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Turn right when you enter the station. Okay, so this is us entering the station. And then we turn to the right. Which is the women's bathroom? No, maybe the station is this, of course. But I don't see any stairs. All I'm seeing is missing flyers of people. What are you smoking now, sister? Turn right when you enter the station. I don't know. Is it this? Oh, I mean, we can... Uh... Yeah, I need a smoke. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. <laughs> so, Where's the winter hair. Okay, I'm by the door. Oh, okay, I see. These stairs. No. So she's by the door. Oh, these stairs. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I imagine it was gonna be longer stairs or like bigger stairs. Not these tiny ones. Shit, where are you? Right here. Open the door. Gotta be sneaky. We don't wanna get caught. You took control of your destiny. Own it. There we go. Mine and kill salmon. Yeah. We know that. But the corporations won't stop. Come on. What do we have here? What kind of files and secret secrets does this place hold? Cookies. Brown oh, really it's not wants cookies. everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. We gotta read the files. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. All right. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Yeah. What about that one right there? No, no, no. Did not mean to do that. See this one. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Well, I thought you said she... He doesn't lie, I mean. Hmm. I don't think it's that one. No, you know what? I'm gonna read it because... 
looks like this is yeah, where Brown yeah, keeps yeah, all his heard personal money. Why is wow, Brown that is a lot of money to pay for every file? month. Oh, Jesus. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find it and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but phew, that's a lot of money. Indeed. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Oh. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. A collectible. Huh. Hey, you. I'm gonna grab that? What? What is that? New collectible. This... I, I didn't get a chance to read it. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. <laughs> burn it with fire. <laughs> I don't know, but it's probably a reference to something, and she hates it, so that makes it even funny. You finding anything? No. We're all stardust, by the way. We're all made of stardust. Oh man, what are the good files? Maybe it's not even here. Who would place the file there? The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh yeah, the community social. He volunteered to help, and since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. I see. Oh, maybe we can find it on the computer. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. I don't think it's that one. General Discharge. No. Oh, this one. It might work. U.S. Army military, nah. Definitely the computer. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. And computers are basically information pinatas. Indeed. <laughs> Request case? Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. So this is the one. Hi Chief, regarding your request this morning about the Ronan case, it hasn't been digitized, so you can find the paper originals in the archives for other references about the case. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out, but you can find the, digit the digitized through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. Dinner? With Betsy? Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. I see. We would like to inform you uh, da, 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 Saturday, November at the council. From J Rex, it was crossing, blah, 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 blah. Man who pissed in her cereal this morning. Alright, so apparently the case is where? But you can find the digitized calls through the appendix. You can find the paper originals in the archives for other references. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's got to be where our file is. I mean, I was hoping we didn't have to get in to like that place because that seems more risky, but I guess that makes it even more exciting, right? Let's keep going, sister. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Dum da dee do. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Dum. Nope. The wrong numbers. All right, so it's gonna be six. So dumb, zero, da, then this, d, four, and the one, which is the last one. Yes. Dumb da -de do. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Do they not have cameras over here? I thought I remember seeing the cameras and like the. The screens uh, showing all the like rooms. They're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. 
They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. So our incident... Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. <laughs> what? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs> because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. Oh, true. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Wait, what was it? R6 what? Well, it's definitely not one of these. R6 something. D509 2014. I mean, as far as she, as the lady, oh, wait, R3, Dar. The lady knows we went to take, to get a smoke, so if they see her there, gonna be fine. Plus, I'm sure everyone is used to seeing her roaming around the station. She said R6, uh, this is 05. No. Hold on. I think our incident happened around 20, 2009? What was it, 2000 and... Might be this one. I think it happened around 2004? 2009, so we're pretty close. This is 2014. 13 something. Um, oh. Oh, there it is. Serial 5 R68. Here we go. Found it. Let's see what kind of secrets are in this box. I love the music, by the way. It creates the suspense environment. So that's pretty cool. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. Of what? Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Oh, yeah. The, the person on the email mentioned that uh, you can find the calls on the, on the appendix or something. Oh, cool cutscene, not gonna lie. I appreciate that cutscene. Let's see. Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. March 1st, 2005? Both of them work, actually. Um, March 2005 and Marianne Ronan. Crime report. Or the, the autopsy. Let's, let's check the crime report. 24 hour homicide report, victim information, plus crime summary. What about this one? Personal information and rap sheet. Interesting. That's that's all the information we're getting. Oh, that's it. That's all I can see. Maybe it has a tag. Hold on a second. References zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. Oh, zero five R sixty two. No, this R sixty one. R68, R63. Uh, that doesn't seem like it. R62. Could it be this one. They had it open. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She. Uh, yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. What? So she didn't die because of, I mean I I was kind of expecting it I mean I, a scissor wouldn't do that much damage but still it's bad well that was weird <laughs> so she didn't die because of the stab wound she died because she drowned can we see something else Ronan children Eddie Brown. Here. Last update. 24 hour homicide. Bingo. 
fax information and receipt. Is that a tag? Right. Reset the tags. Okay. I need to check out 0501COMEBR. 050CM. That's the one. There. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. Oh, so maybe that's the memory that we saw earlier at the house and she was like crying. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe sh he was there to tell her, hey, you're... Shit, 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 shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, stall him? Stall him? No shit, Sherlock. Say I'm in the bathroom. Get him to say I went for a smoke. Because that's what I did, supposedly. Say I went for a smoke. Please don't get caught. Oh god, I love this. <laughs> oh, this is so... Oh man, child service. And recording, I guess. Got something. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Brew. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Yeah, I mean... It is understandable that he did that. Anyone would have done that. March 1st, 2005. No document found. Maybe Eddie Brown and Sam Kansky. Into the report. Kansky DUI. <laughs> Complain. The Ronan children and Sam Kansky? No. The Ronan children and... Is there anyone Police Department? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh! Hello. I can hear you. This is when it happened. It's my mom. She... She fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you oh. now? The fact that they oh. reported that where? her mother was Where's drowning and not that her mother it's attacked him. Right, honey, can you give me I don't your know, address? it's kinda sweet, I guess. Oh, Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! What? State your emergency. Okay, can I come out now? I mean, I already did, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a terrible joke to make. I apologize. But we need to keep searching, huh? The court order. 05R6 three, 05R6 3325. References 05R63 325. 05R63. That's R61. I think I saw it over here. There it is. Here it is. I feel like we're gonna get caught. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Well, we got some stuff. I think I should be reading the files. Is that it? Did we get what we came for? What we were looking for? I hope we did. I mean, I got an achievement, so... No. Still
still can go out. Is there any more in the computer? Let's see, recording. Marianne, Ronan, no. Ronan, we already checked that one. No documents found. We need to check this one. R618889. I need to check out. 05 R61889. R61, there it is. Here we go. They have it taped so we don't see it. So I imagine this one is gonna contain a lot of info. Man, shouldn't police reports be straight and to the point? Well, I mean, they have to be very specific. In both person. Oh, we can read it. Report of homicide. Victim named Mary Ann Ronan. Caucasian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean, <laughs> Tyler. I see. So yeah, it's pretty much what we knew, or what supposedly happened, except for the part where he wasn't the one who stabbed the mother. So forensic stuff, maybe Marianne, Ronan, and um, March first to the, the autopsy report. Already seen this one. Yeah, we've already seen that one. Here. Oh, there it is. The incident report. Vecchi Tefer 4 Child Neglect Report Wait, Vecchi? 2005 and 2001 References This is the one? There. Yeah Oh, Wait, it's, what the, the, hell? it's the guy from the store Oh, Tessa No, actually I want to read it Oh, darn it Get moving. Oh man, I wanted to read it. But I'm pretty sure that's gonna trigger a cutscene. I knew it. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I we didn't mean I'm to I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. And a liar. I said move it. H hey! <laughs> Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Whoa. Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family! Are you kidding me? Uh We can s Let's talk in private, dude. Let's not make a scene. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Oh man. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. Yeah, exactly. There's a saying in Spanish is that the girls talking people understand each other. Or something like that, I don't know how to translate it into English. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Hmm. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. So that's why we were eating ice cream yeah. for dinner. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Darn. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So Tessa came to you? She was struggling. I want to know about Tessa. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. Tessa stabbed her in the back. 
she kind of dead? I don't know. A snake? Pretending to care? To be her friend? Just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. Yeah, but... I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Actually... Just following the law, then. Right. Actually, I Is think... that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I don't know. Help her. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. <sighs> Let's not. <laughs> Let's not swear. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. Actually, everyone was responsible. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best, and I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Ah, <sighs> could get there with time. Yeah. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. You've got a place here whenever you need it. <laughs> he kept the the ring. Group hug? No. Uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. We just said it's gonna take some time and he's trying to rush it. Yeah, I don't know. Can I go through this door or no? Well, that's... I don't know. I feel like I chose the wrong... That went better than I was afraid it would. Oh, never mind, I guess. I was gonna say that I thought that I chose wrong or poorly, but... Everyone seems to be happy and... We didn't break the place. Or we didn't cause any trouble. So... Peace out, everyone. See ya. <laughs> Still... So maybe when she was loading the gun, it wasn't. It, Allison, she was. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. Also, I saw your face and you were mad. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Ugh. Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. You can actually hear the regret. Wow, she's she's really breaking down, huh? This is the first time a cutscene actually kind of gets me. Cold case. 
Oh no, we're going there. Ah. Uh. Where is everybody? Tess has got to be around somewhere. Is it just me or this looks different? I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Oh, never mind. The punk was there. <laughs> but given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. <laughs> I need to take a breather. I'm going to do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Alrighty. I stopped to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? What are you guys hey, talking about? Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh hey, Tyler from the boat, right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. What is that? Also, the animations are very robotic again. <laughs> you two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately, we're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Will she be back soon? Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Still busy? <laughs> How about Tom? Is he busy? The conversation, he's been in the man. office all morning, so who knows? Amazing. But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. This guy reminds me to a high school friend I used to have. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're still friends. We just don't talk anymore. <laughs> Does anybody else speak to their um, high school friends? It's been a while since I, I spoke to one. Tom, we got some questions for you about your wife and her... Dumb decisions. Hey man, I'm, I make bad and terrible decisions, but dude, man. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. All right. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne. What was Tessa at the station? Well, we know why she was at the station, but we want to know why she got why she reported it. Tessa reported her, her. Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Respectable. What was Tessa at the station? Tessa reported Marianne. All right. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. We understand that. We need the truth to heal. It, it feels like everyone is well, hiding everything. If we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. 
We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. What yes? do you know about you it? said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. What if Sam is the father? Oh. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Well, what, what if they are adopted? Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. What if Chief Brown isn't our uncle? You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Uh, maybe later, dude. Why not? Oh, come we on. came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing, just give me a sec. Well, uh, I'm not in the mood um, helping uh, closing a store, so... I mean, I'm not in the mood of counting cash. I always do that when I'm at the job. And I'm not in the mood of doing anything related to the store, so I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, but, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and, uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.